In this segment of Suffolk Headlines, we take a ride over to the American Diabetes Association toward a Cure cycling event. Then we attend Iconicon at the North Suffolk Library. And finally, we have some fun at Kids Fest at Bennett's Creek Park. The 2017 American Diabetes Association Tour to Cure Cycling event was held on Saturday, April 29th at Kings Fork High School. This event brought people from all over Hampton Roads to Suffolk for a worthy cause. Riders were able to register for either a 10 mile, 25 mile, 65 mile, or 100 mile route.
Public Library, in partnership with Tidewater Alliance, hosted Iconicon on Saturday, April 29th at the North Suffolk Library. This free event welcomed sci-fi, fantasy, comic, and anime fans in the Hampton Roads area. There were vendors, a lightsaber academy, gaming, a costume contest, and much more. Uh, it's good. Like A lot of kids bringing in their different costumes and different uh, things they're into. Comics, movies, that type of thing. Characters. It's like another Halloween type of day. People come in and show what they are into. Yeah, this is great because it brings every, every, all the families out and the library is a perfect family-oriented place to bring something like this to. So today we have Iconicon. It's the second annual Iconicon at the North Suffolk Public Library. Um, it's an annual event that we started last year in 2016 that had about 1,000 people attend. Um, it had such a great turnout that we decided to do it again this year. It's a multi-fandom event drawing in fandoms from sci-fi to anime to superheroes, pretty much whatever your fandom is, you can come celebrate it here today. Um, so we have different events throughout the day, including a Brawl for All tournament, a cosplay contest. We'll be announcing the winners for our fandom art contest, which had over 100 submissions from kids, teens, and adults. So we're really excited to see what the results are for that. Really, it's just a fun day for people to come together and have a blast. Early Childhood Development Commission and Suffolk Parks and Recreation hosted Kids Fest at Bennett's Creek Park on Wednesday, May 3rd. This free festival was held for young children and featured arts and crafts, block building, a bounce house, Play-Doh tables, a petting zoo, and many more fun activities. Hi, today we're at our annual Kids Fest event. Join us on May 17th. We'll be at Kids Zone Park behind the Farm Fresh off Main Street. We would love for you to join us. This event is sponsored by Suffolk's Early Childhood Development Commission, Parks and Recreation, the libraries, and so many more agencies are here. We have the Petting Zoo. We have the Portsmouth Museum here with bubbles. We have face painting. We have blocks. We have Play-Doh. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but the seashells are here for our entertainment. We are so excited. We have a bounce house. The police are here. Fire trucks are here. 
and we want you to join us for a really great time. It's such a good event for young kids. We also, I left out, we also have little Aaron's icy cart. So come and get a free icy on us. Um, it's, it's not so hot today, but it may be on the 17th. So it'll, it's a nice way to cool you off. Please join us for this great event. It's from 10 to 12, and it's just the perfect activities for young children. Um, all the way up to age five. We'd love to have you join us for this great event. We just finished up Week of the Young Child and it was amazing. Participants from all over the city join us for this great week. Music Monday, Taco Tuesday, Healthy Eating Tuesday, Work Together Wednesday, we had Artsy Thursday, Family Friday. It was such, such a great time. We had preschool gym time at East Suffolk Rec Center. It was just a great way for kids to work together and play together fabulous week. Once again, Week of the Young Child should be more than just about a week. Every day should be focused on your kids and their happiness and playing with them and learning from them and giving them the best foundation they can to learn and grow.
Thanks for watching this segment of Suffolk Headlines.